Welcome to ChristianPodcast.com. Today we want to talk about the top Christian podcasts you can listen to on Spotify. I'm Beto and this is my wife Millie and we're the founders of ChristianPodcast.com. We have our own English and Spanish episodes you can listen to. So if you're here maybe for the first time on ChristianPodcast.com, welcome. We're going to show you a blog that we have, okay? So for that, I want to show you our little screen right here. So this is our website, ChristianPodcast.com. So when you go over here and you click on vlog, you're going to be able to see different episodes that we've done. But today I want to focus on this one right here that says Top Christian Podcast. Are you ready, Millie? Let's do this. We're going to see what these are and what you think of these, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's click on this one. Check out the top 25 Christian podcasts to boost your faith in 2024. Explore the list below to listen to the most recent episode of each podcast and access links for Spotify and Apple Podcasts. This list is curated by yours truly, ChristianPodcast.com. <laughs> Uh, so good. Based on a number of factors. Okay. So this is, this is why we included this podcast here. Okay. And then maybe just because I am the, one of the founders, so I get to say whichever podcast I want to have. Right. Mm. Uh, but, but this is kind of like the, the overall criteria for choosing this podcast. And you guys can let us know what you think on the comments. Okay. Mm -hmm. We should include more podcasts and stuff like that. So one of them is quality of production. That means sound design theme. So does it look good? If now there's a lot of videos now, right? Does it sound good? Um, is there any production value behind putting this podcast on any platform? Then second one is ministry impact and longevity. Mm. So in parentheses, authority. So how long has this maybe preacher or minister had been around for? And is their ministry well known or not? So that also kind of like has a factor in if these podcasts are here. And then, Millie, I have, I have to say something when we get to, I think, podcast number 17. Remind me because that one is, uh, we had a change. And I'm going to tell you about this because this was a person who had a ministry impact and longevity. And we replaced him with somebody that has way less impact and longevity because we want to boost her and we want to say okay well, well i'll tell you about that when we get there Millie. okay uh, another one is relevant cultural topics in parentheses message so what are they talking about is this something that people want to listen to as of you know nowadays and finally creativity or format mm -hmm. okay so is this uh is this a podcast that features Uh, kind of like documentary style. Is this a podcast where people just talk? Uh, do they have guests that come on the show type thing? So that's why we included some of these podcasts, okay? So first one, Mili, is the Holy Post Podcast. There we go. Holy Post Podcast. This is the founder of VeggieTales. Did you ever hear of VeggieTales, Mili? I think our kids... Used they to watch, watch VeggieTales yeah. for a little bit. They didn't really like it that much. Well, at the beginning, yes. At the beginning, little. yes. But uh, Phil Vischer Millie has an amazing story and why he went into starting his podcast. And he's got Sky Jetani, who's an author and senior editor of Christianity Today uh, Leadership Journal. So it's a big, it's kind of like ChristianPodcast.com, but ChristianityToday.com. Mm. They're big influencers in the world. And so they put together this this podcast now they have caitlin shias who is a girl who um i interviewed me in like one one of my first episodes mm -hmm. and she was brilliant you, you guys can go back to our stream and listen to that one if you want to but uh now she's part of the podcast that they do so she does kind of like what we do she interviews people and she's got really really good questions so this is to me from my point of view this is the most influential Christian podcasts, like all Christian podcasts, like um, I would say evangelical Christian podcast is probably the most influential out there right now. And I really love their format. There's a conversational type of podcast and they have interviews, like I said. So it's really, really good and really influential. And it's a video podcast too? They have videos now too. So if you go to their YouTube page, they have a bunch of videos. They actually had to split their podcast into... Um, 
before it was one long podcast where first they talked about things that are you no know, relevant to our culture or news. It actually calls him the news of the butt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in every every time he shares news that are related to something that has to do with butt, like trasero. So super interesting. I mean, it's funny. Phil Vischer, right? I mean, he's the founder of the or the creator of VeggieTales. So he had to be funny, right? So really good topics. And second one, that sounds fun with Annie F. Downs. Okay, I've listened to a few of her episodes, but she used to be a school teacher. So, and she's written a bunch of books, Millie. I think you've read some of her books with your uh, women's uh, Bible study. Mm -hmm. She's brilliant. She's amazing. Kind of same type of thing. You know, she has interviews and guests, but because now she's really blown up and, you know, well known, some of her guests are like the top, you know, evangelical leaders that you would hear about, you know, so like whether it's uh, authors, um, nonprofit owners, whether it's uh, musicians, you know, so you would see maybe like Phil Wickham or um, John Mark Comer mm -hmm. on her show, you know, and um, pastors like that. So really, really good. Well produced. She's awesome. Uh, highly recommend. That sounds fun. She's funny too, you know, so I think she, she lived in Tennessee and then she moved to New York. I don't know if she's back in Tennessee, but really good podcast. Then another one, number three, Millie, The Bible Project. Mm. Have you ever heard of that one? Yes. Yeah? What have you heard of this one? It's um, the one we download in our phone, no? No, no, no. It's similar. So I think you're talking about the Bible app. No, this is different, but that's a, that's a good, like, how is this different than the Bible app? This is called The Bible Project. So this started with Tim Mackey. And so Tim Mackey studied... Uh, Greek, like okay. original Greek and all of that, you know, like a lot of pastors do, but he's super smart. So what he did is he started saying, okay, what is the, what is Genesis about? You know, and they started creating like cartoons mm. for each book of oh, the Bible. Oh, yes. That's right? what I was So now, now you know which ones. Yes, right? because it's on our app. Oh, okay. If yeah. you go there. Yeah, it's probably you know, on the like, Bible yes, app. Yes. So you, that's where I found them. Okay. That's true. And yeah, they're probably in the Bible like, lab. For example, like with my um, ladies at the Bible study, mm. when I start reading like Philippians, mm -hmm. we go to that and they will give you like a resume mm -hmm. with cartoons. A summary. About a summary. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's great. So Bible Project does that. I think they cover all the books of the Bible by mm -hmm. this time. And oh I mean, my God, you guys need to go and see that. Like, especially for beginners. Yeah. No, they're, they're super good. So, but the podcast is a little bit more about the founders and kind of same thing. You know, they're talking with scholars, they're talking with other authors and they're discussing like theological topics and stuff like that. So the, the podcast is not so much the animated version of it. It's more like the... Knowing like, them. N yeah, getting to know the, the founders of the Bible Project and, you know, talking about theology and things like that. So... Mm. Highly recommend. It's really good. They're super popular. Number four, Confessions of a Crappy Christian. It used to be called Confessions of a Crappy Christian Podcast, A Girl Named Blake. So Blake, it's a little bit like um, she's got an opinion. Okay. So, and I think now she's married, but if you follow her on, on her social media, like Instagram and stuff like that, she would be posting about political stuff most of the time, you know, and she's conservative. Mm -hmm. So think of her as a little bit kind of like, I would say, the Daily Wire, mm. but Christian, right? Conser yeah. But she's got that conservative view on a lot of things, and she's very opinionated about it. So if you follow her, you know, she'll probably like support Trump and <laughs> that sort of stuff. Um, but she's she's one of the top podcasters, you know, and she sticks to her horses. And I think, I mean, a lot of people follow her because of that, you know, because I think people need strong opinions, especially if you're a Christian, you know. Mm -hmm. So not to say there's nothing on the other end of the spectrum, but I really, I really appreciate what she's doing. So that's, uh, and her name's Blake. I forgot her last name, but anyways, you can follow her at the girl named Blake and you're going to see, you know, you're going to be like, oh, okay, I see what she's all about on social media. Number five, John Mark Comer, teaching wow. podcast. I love his parents. Why? They have a book. 
mm-hmm. right? And they they share the story the how they did it, how they raised their kids, mm-hmm. and because all the kids are in the ministry, you know, mm-hmm. they're all followers of Jesus. And for me, that is huge. That is huge, mm-hmm. and I'm always looking uh, for tips how to be a better mom, mm-hmm. a better wife. And yeah, it's pretty amazing. Love it. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, John Mark Comer. So he's the son of the, the Comers. And he's a phenomenal teaching pastor. We've heard him preach long ago when we used to go to Rock Harbor here in Costa Mesa. He used to be a guest uh, teaching pastor. And he's great, you know, and we followed a few of his social media posts and stuff like that. We read a bunch of his books that are phenomenal. He's got one that's called uh, Live No Lies or Tell No Lies or Live No Lies, something like that. Really, really good. And most of his books are amazing Mm. and super knowledgeable. So this is more like the teaching podcast of John Mark, right? So if you don't go to church, but are interested in what Christians are teaching, this is probably my favorite teaching pastor, like solid. He knows what's going on in our culture. He loves Jesus. Like he, he comes back to like following Jesus is the way. You know, so in a world that's divided, almost like, you know, with the previous podcast where I said, no, she's super conservative. He is, I would say he's conservative too, but he knows that the other side, it's also loved by God, you know, like the left or whatever. And he says, well, it's because Jesus came and he offers us a third way and it's Mm -hmm. his kingdom, you know? Mm -hmm. So I really love what he's doing. So go and listen to John Mark's teaching podcast. It's really good. Then number seven is, whoa, that's a good podcast with Sadie Robertson. Okay, Sadie, uh, she's connected to, remember me, like uh, Louis Giglio? Yes. Did you listen a lot to him? I love, yeah, I miss him. <laughs> right. And Louis Giglio has, a, I mean, he's part of this uh, event called Passion. Mm-hmm. So basically they do a get together of a bunch of Christians. They have worship and whatnot. And she's one of the people that usually speaks at this event, you know, and mm-hmm. she's, She got married not too long ago, and for me, not too long ago would be, I don't know, like two, three years ago. (laughs) You know, we're about to turn 16 years together, Millie, you and me, yeah. So uh, she's she's awesome, you know, (laughs) she's awesome. She's, I would say, recently married, but her topics are more around that, you know, like going from from, um, being single to having a boyfriend to getting married and how to live you know, the married life together and following Jesus. And she's super influential. I think her podcast is listened to uh, like millions and millions of downloads. Oh, so nice. she's, yeah, she's super listened to uh, all over, I would say all over the world, but for sure the United States. So if you want to listen to her, it's probably advice on relationship, like a lot of relationship advice and how all that relates to the Bible or how the Bible relates to our relationships so with one another. Sounds more like intimate relationship yeah i think she's probably like on the intimate side you know of relationships uh for sure and she's super great you know so i think she's a solid christian and believer uh coming up unbelievable with justin Brierly. so this one is super interesting really oh i'm not showing them Um, there we go unbelievable with justin Brierly. okay this one's produced in the uk Mm -hmm. and justin he's awesome really like i follow him a few times and I've listened to his podcast and for the most part on this show, you'll see debates, mm. you know, so people maybe who are atheists with somebody that follows God. And I think he's had even like Jordan Peterson and like amazing guests before, Oh wow! but he always tries to bring um, light in the darkness. But from that little bit of debating one another, but at the same time, always like bringing it back to mm-hmm. Jesus, I, I would lo- say. I love Christian's debate. Mm. so different than the politicians wow <laughs> yeah it's like because i, I, I i'm kind of ignorant because i don't follow politicians but a couple mm-hmm. times that i've been looking at that they're fighting for stupid things and mm-hmm. they for votes. like no respect <laughs> you know they wouldn't but, say a vote is a stupid we, thing but I, I get what you're saying but i will see like for example jordan peterson does what he loves to do Mm -hmm. He debate with people that have different beliefs and he's so respectful. It's so beautiful Mm. how uh, they understand that at the end of the day, they have more things in common Mm -hmm. than things 
you know, that separate them. So I love, I love the way he reach out to people. Love it. Okay. So that's Justin Brierley, unbelievable, really, really good podcast. If you're into like debating and apologetics and that type of stuff, this is a really good podcast. And I'm going to glance over a few of the next ones because there's 25 here and yeah. you know, I don't want to make a super long video. But uh, The Authentic Christian, probably the, the... So there's three hosts in this one and they're just like solid Christian. This is produced by the Gospel Coalition. So think of it kind of like ChristianPodcast.com but with more authority and longevity and they have a bunch of articles on their website that mm. you know, solidify the Christian worldview. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the same thing that they do on their podcast. So the three hosts will tackle any topic, Millie. They probably discuss like the big topics nowadays, right? Like um, gender, homosexuality, uh, why can we trust the Bible, that type of thing. But from a perspective of like, we are Christian evangelicals, why do we believe the things that we believe, mm -hmm. right? So I think it's a solid podcast you can listen to so if you're a little bit more into uh, again kind of like apologetics and apologetics for those of you who don't know it means defending the faith right but in this case it's like evangelical christian faith like why do we believe this thing so uh, number 12 is theology in the raw with preston sprinkle i love preston sprinkle Millie. i've had him on my show before and we discussed the idea of um gender uh what do you call it like the trans gender thing uh and when we it was still a hot thing but it was still kind of like in the early stages and he's mm. got books about it on his podcast he's on like episode uh, if i can see here i don't know what episodes he's in but he's got thousands of episodes and he usually interviews people who are either you know have been trans d trans people who are gay people who um, know whose kids are gay and that type of thing. And he's just, just like a solid Christian who wants to understand other people, love them, them well. And he's just solid. I love him. He's the, also one of the founders of ChristianSexuality.com. His podcast blew up and grew so much that now they do a, almost like a traveling show or in conference where they invite um, prominent guests in the evangelical world mostly. And they discuss these ideas on um, kind of like on a live conference setting. So it's really good. And he's probably have, you know, a bunch of like authors and, and actually right here, you know, if you read his description, he says, we're going to talk about everything, homosexuality, sex, porn, drinking, immigration, racial tensions, violence, ISIS, Trump, guns, patriotism, you name it. Wow. So for sure. Yeah. If you want interested in those type of topics, Preston Sprinkle, I love him. He's solid. Then number 13, Greg Laurie. Mm. <laughs> right? So Greg Laurie is a prominent pastor here from Southern California. One of the participants of the Jesus movement, also known as the Jesus Revolution. There's a movie about his life called That Jesus Revolution. He's been preaching for over 40 years. He's uh, the founder of the Harvest Crusade that happens here in Southern California every year at Angel Stadium or around the area. And they bring, they invite people to follow Jesus. So he's a solid preacher that's been around for a really long time. So he's got the authority. And like we were saying in one of our videos where we discuss his, his type of teaching and style, I think this is just like solid old school evangelism you know god came to die for your sins yes in the form of jesus christ if you receive him in your heart you know you have salvation simple Easy. simple yeah so uh this is his teaching messages so if you want to listen to him he's great and then this one really is the one that i wanted to talk to you about okay so hallelujah podcast in uh, before i used to have a prominent pastor, I'm not even going to say his name, but lately, Millie, there have been a lot of prominent pastors who've had controversies and and there's another word I'm looking for, but I forgot right now. But basically when people accuse them of like wrongdoings and stuff like that, right? So one of these pastors said, yes, you know, I committed sin. I need to step down. And now his, uh, his podcast, actually, when I tried to listen to it, it wasn't there anymore. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to replace it, but who am I going to find? And I'm like, what a better person than Hallelujah Podcast is Grace Bookham from Australia, or Bookman, sorry. 
and we've had her on our show. She's part of our network. So if you go to the network tab up here, uh, you'll find her podcast too. But she's just a, a God-loving Jesus follower from Australia, young girl. She's, I think, 26 the last time we checked. She just turned 26. And she loves Jesus, you know, and she has a story where, you know, she she slipped away from the faith. She was kind of like doing kind of sex, drugs, and rock and roll, and then came back to faith. And now she's the authority on like um, being single, on dating, on what to look for in a marriage. You know, when I get married, what, what what's a biblical marriage going to look like? That type of thing. So I really encourage maybe if you're a young woman. Uh, who's kind of like in that you know, search for a man and want to think about dating and all that sort of stuff. Uh, highly encouraged to listen to Hallelujah Podcast. She's also have a website called hallelujahpodcast.com. And we have an episode with her if you want to listen to it too. Go and check it out. She's brilliant. She's awesome. Uh, she's got a YouTube page too. So go and do that. 15, Compel Podcast with Paul Hastings. So this is mostly interview style podcast but really really well produced Millie. it has like you know music in the background and has a teaser at the beginning of what they're gonna discuss so they really use the communication tools mm. to make it super engaging and you'll be like almost like on the edge of your seat when you listen to this and i think this is it's just listening okay so this is yeah. this has no video it's just listening to the episodes but really well produced by Paul Hastings. I've been in conversations with him before on email and I really love what he's doing. So if you want to check it out, it's always it's always conversations from people that went from darkness to light mm -hmm. in all the spectrum, you know, from relationships to gender to like all that sort of stuff. It's always going to be a testimony of somebody coming to faith and being solidified in following Jesus. Nice. So highly encourage Compel podcast with Paul Hastings. Uh, number 16, Bible in a Year with Friar Mike Schmitz. Okay, so this one is a Catholic priest. Okay, but he's the number one podcast for for Catholics uh, from a priest, I would say. What a beautiful smile. He's got a great mm -hmm. smile. So that, that if that's not convincing, I don't know what will be. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I think he's really open to, you know, so if you're a Catholic, maybe who found this website and are interested in, in more of your Catholicism, I think this is a solid, you know, a solid believer and follower of Jesus and a Catholic, a devout Catholic. All right. So, and this is the number one podcast. So there's no wow. way to go wrong with this one. Wow. Number wow. 18, Truth Over Tribe. I've had them on our show, Millie, I think maybe two years ago or so. And their thing is, it's it's kind of like political, but not. Okay. How so, is that? How is that? <laughs> so how can I explain that? So they say, you know, in politics, you have the, the elephant and the donkey, right? And they represent um, Democrats and Republicans. Mm. So what they say, their claim of faith is like, we don't follow the donkey. We don't follow the elephant. We follow the lamb. Mm. right so we follow the lamb of god so it's the reference of like in a world so divided and especially in the united states so this is really united states oriented and there's two pastors who co-lead this show and they're really good um so they would have interviews with people to discuss political topics and cultural stuff happening in america so you could imagine what kind of stuff right like mm. things that are hot topics today but they always try to bring it back to Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. And that's, I mean, most of these podcasts will do that because they're Christian podcasts for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're into like, oh man, the world's so divided here in America, uh, I don't know where to find um, like solid ground. I think this is a good podcast to go to. But if you're still interested in politics, mm -hmm. right? So go listen to Truth Over Tribe. They have a book that's called the same thing, Truth Over Tribe. And really good. So go listen to them. Living Waters Podcast, Millie. We're almost done. N number 19, Living Waters. Uh, he's, uh, uh, what I'm going to say, this is a ministry out of Huntington Beach, California, but it's an international ministry, Millie. So it's also a little bit kind of like apologetics, like defending the faith. But what I love about him, Millie, I think, what's his name? Ray. His name's Ray. 
that for the longest time I've seen him grab a microphone and a camera and he goes to like Huntington Beach, right? Uh, it's a really touristy beach here in California. And he would go and talk to people on the street and say, what do you think about Jesus? Was he really the son of man? And he would talk to anyone, right? And he's just like getting their opinion. And they would say, no, I don't believe because this or that. And then he would invite them. Well, have you ever lied? Yes. Well, according to the law, it says that it makes you uh, a sinner. It makes you, if you break one law, you break all of them, right? According to God. So he, he really wrestles with the people that not wrestle like in, uh, in the physical sense, but in the invited them to mm -hmm. follow Christ. And so that's what he's been doing for a long time. Really. He's a, I would say a veteran of the faith and of apologetics. And the podcast is a little bit more of the, the, the talking conversation with people around those topics. Right. But I, I think that brings him the authority that he's been out there and he's been inviting people to follow Christ, regardless of who they, their background was. Right. Cause mm -hmm. sometimes he would talk to people who are, you know, they would seem with like earrings and I don't know, spikes on their neck and like really like maybe coming from the punk scene and skating and they would be like defiant, you know, like, ah, I don't believe in Christ and that sort of stuff. And he just walks through them with like, why not? And finally, like inviting them to follow Jesus. And some would do right there on the spot, you know, say, you know, I surrender to Christ. And you would say them with the maybe like black yes. makeup or things like that. So solid believer, you know, he loves Jesus and loves to invite people to follow Christ and his ministry is called that Living Waters mm. and the podcast is called the same Living Waters podcast. So highly recommend listening to this one. Um, and there it is Living Waters podcast with Ray. Um, this one, I'm just going to kind of glance over. It's just a person we love dearly. The author C.S. Lewis, he's dead, <laughs> but this podcast is about kind of like his impact in legend. Christianity. Yeah. He's a legend. His impact for Christians around the world in the fields of apologetics, again, defending the faith. Uh, so really good. You know, if you're into C.S. Lewis and maybe coming from an agnostic background and now you want to defend the faith, well, get to know somebody that went through that journey. And this podcast will probably let you know more about his life. The number 21, the Pro Church Tools Show with Brady Shearer and Alexander Mills. This one really is really, really, really good podcast for people who are uh, church something. You know, if you're involved with the church, whether you're a leader, a pastor, you're in the like the technological side of your church, these guys are phenomenal because they're always giving you tips, encouragement, always like saying how you can do better as a church. Uh, they're evangelical. So they, they have that point of view for sure. But I think, you know, Millie, really since COVID hit mm. and most churches went online, these guys have been so solid about empowering the church, helping them, you know, see trends that are going on on Instagram or TikTok or, you know, how things shifted from horizontal video to reels and stuff like that. So super helpful if you're interested in maybe having your church have bigger impact. Mm. These guys are solid, you know, and I'm so happy that their podcast has grown so much. So go and follow them. And uh, their motto is kind of like helping your church navigate the biggest communication shift in a hundred, in 500 years. Right. So we've been saying that as Christians for like the last, I would say maybe two decades or so that every 500 years or so, the church undergoes a massive shift in culture. So that's what they're witnessing right now. And that's what they think is happening to the church, that the church is shifting and the whole thing with the media and stuff like that is what's helping them um, just do better, right? Have more impact. The number 22 relatable with Ali Beth Stucky Mealy. I had her dad on the show, <laughs> uh, Ron, what's his name? Ron Simons. I had him on the show and he's the person that I said, Hey, could you ever help me get uh, my immigration fixed? Oh, I remember. <laughs> right. So this is her daughter or his daughter, his daughter, his daughter. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, this is his daughter. She's phenomenal. She's kind of like, uh, the, the girl named Blake. She's super opinionated, but super well produced. This is a video podcast too. Uh, a lot of people follow her for her conservative views. 
she's on episode like a thousand forty eight episodes, wow. right? So she's done a lot of episodes. She's amazing. If you're into a little bit like the the political side of things again, but from the conservative point of view and the Christian point of view, uh, she will bring all that sort 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 of topic to you. Uh, for example, recently as we're recording this. We had the Olympics going on, right? And the Olympics came with a bunch of controversies. She's going to tackle all of them. But kind of like, think of her also kind of like as a, a Daily Wire. Like her show could be easily on Daily Wire, but with a full-on Christian perspective, mm. you know? But that type of production where it's, you know, well-produced, well-thought-of, uh, well-researched, go listen to her. You know, Relatable with Ali Beth Stuckey. Then almost one to the last Bible thinker with Mike Winger. This guy's also like another apologetic, solid Christian believer. He will tackle all the topics. He was in he was in a big debate because Benny Hinn, remember yeah. Benny Hinn really? Yes. Uh, he tried to take him down, like, hey, you're talking about me badly, blah, blah, blah. And try to take his podcast down. And the guy actually filed a lawsuit against him, <laughs> you know, so they were kind of like debating in that. But that's all because he's super well researched, Millie, and he's got a YouTube mm -hmm. channel also that's really big. So highly recommend, you know, Bible Thinker, if you're into like theology, apologetics, like solid Christian uh, evangelical type of um, theology or doctrine, I think he's solid, you know. And he's here. There's a, I mean, he, you'll find him on YouTube too. But right now we're focusing more on the podcasts that are on Spotify, okay, that you can listen to. So this is a really good one. And finally, finally, Millie, number 25, Christian Podcast with Beto and Millie. Los últimos serán los primeros. Los últimos serán los primeros. How we would say that in, in English? The last will be the first. Yeah. <laughs> right? So the last is us. And this is our English stream that we are showcasing here that you can listen to on Spotify. We've had, I think, 105 episodes or so. So we're still fairly new, Millie. Yes. I would say. But why not? You know, we're Latinos. We're Mexican. We follow Jesus here in America. We have interviews with people all over the world, but mostly people who are authors, politicians, musicians, people even from our community who just have a great story to tell, all from the from the lens of Christianity, mm -hmm. right? So, and also, Millie, I started this podcast by myself, and now you're in it on all the shows. So, I would like I would like to end with that, Millie. How do you feel about being part of the English stream of the show and and what we're doing, Millie, with ChristianPodcast.com. I love it. And it's challenging for me, Beto. Mm -hmm. um, Why? The speaking English or, yeah, or spiritual most, challenges? I think the most part is that my English. But spiritual, not that much. Mm -hmm. um, it's so simple, you know. Jesus is for all of us. And just to know a little bit more about him. It's amazing, and I can see different perspectives of these people who comes to our podcast. I mm -hmm. think everybody is wiring different, and we can learn different things from each other. And it's about that. We all are learning. We, we never stop learning. So I don't feel less and more. I just feel open to listen to their stories, to listen to whatever they have for the world mm -hmm. yeah. so there you go that's it's, it's beautiful that's the 25 best christian podcasts that you can listen to on spotify according to beto and mili from christianpodcast.com thank you so much for being here on our website you know we invite you to leave us a comment maybe subscribe to our website so you can get you know more more of the notifications whenever we release a new vlog or episode and uh, ask any kind of questions you want we're here for you. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one. Ciao.